the Tasca Show daily. Daily. It's easy, short, and fun. Enjoy the facts and the stories. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the 22nd Tasca Show daily episode in the row. I'm your host, Tassos Paradalis, and here I'm talking about veganism, entrepreneurship, data science, and comedy. I hope you all enjoyed the show, guys, and let's move on with the story of the day. I'm sure you're all expecting stories from the New Year's Eve celebrations, and I don't have any because I consciously decided to not go out last night. The reason is because I just didn't feel like going out to celebrate the change of the year. Not because I don't mind change of the year. I'm sure this year is going to be fun and good and everything. It's just like I didn't see any reason for this year to actually go out and celebrate yet. Um, I'm not big when it comes to partying. Uh, I'm, more, I'm, more, I'm more like of a relaxing person. Everybody wanted to go out and drink, get drunk. And I was a feeling like doing this, so I didn't. <laughs> Uh, but I did see the fireworks uh, from my house, um, at the, from the Sterling Castle, and uh, I've s- I've talked to friends and family, you know, sharing wishes and everything. And obviously, I did like a lot of uh, the stuff on social media from friends and family. But uh, yeah, I don't know if that counts like a st- as a story because I'm boring. <laughs> but yeah. Um, that's uh, today actually I don't really have many things to say because I've been relaxing for a couple of days trying to recharge my batteries because tomorrow I'm starting a new part-time job on the side of everything and I'm trying to also prepare for the second semester of uh, my master's and uh, I don't know I don't know it's been a bit of a lazy weekend like a long weekend let's say Saturday Sunday Monday but yeah tomorrow I'm starting a to be more busy again so I, th- I guess a couple of days being lazy are not too bad or and since I deliver on the task I show daily I don't mind having a few of a few lazy hours after every episode and some social media let's move on with the topic of the day guys basically I think my stories are becoming more and more like updates <laughs> So I don't know if I'm gonna continue calling them stories or outtakes because it's a mix. It's a mix. Uh, it's whatever happens. It's whatever I have in my head. But a uh, topic of the day is interesting because I've talked about uh, how I start uh, and how I build and test projects quickly uh, in the past. Um, so it was recently, like last week, I think it was. Uh, yeah, how do I build and test new projects quickly and cheaply? And that was from the ep- episode 18. And uh, a couple of days ago, I did have a conversation on Twitter with someone who reached out to me and they were telling me that they've built, uh, they were disappointed because they've built, they were building a, a, an application for Spotify, uh, sorry, for Shopify. And, um, uh, it took them way too long to build it and then before they launch someone else launched with only 80% of what their app would do but this 80% was done very well so they thought all right there's no point for me now launching my app because the competition is already out there they, they have the advantage of being first etc etc and they were like all right uh, I've learned, I've disappointed, but I've learned the lesson that I'm going to be deploying quickly and launching quickly. So people will be seeing my application quickly and then working on it to fix it afterwards. And I agree. It's pretty much what I talked about in the, in my 18th episode. And if you haven't heard it again, it's called, how do I build and test new projects quickly and cheaply? And it's episode 18. You can find it on any a podcast uh, platform that you're using to listen to your podcast but well uh, I told him to listen to the episode and I told him to not worry about it and I told him to not get him down and because the reason is because I actually went through this all this experience of feeling a bit negatively a bit stupid for not launching quickly enough and for wanting to make it perfect everybody goes through this stuff and I don't and since he realized that he wants to launch quicker the next time around, I'm like, yeah, do that next time around. Don't worry about it. And 
and uh, I would suggest to continue working on the app since someone has launched but maybe uh, if he launched his own app maybe the user interface or the the easier uh, how easy it would be to use maybe it will win some users over but if he doesn't feel like this is gonna happen it's best that he doesn't put more effort on it and um, if he feels like the competition is doing a very good job but I told him to work on something else. I'm sure he's gonna have a lot of ideas. He's an engineer anyway, so web developer, application developer, web developer, all this stuff. And uh, I told him just, yeah, do something different and don't hesitate and don't hesitate to launch quickly and test quickly. And the competition will follow if you do something co cool. So for sure there are hundreds or not even thousands of people actually doing whatever you're thinking of doing right now so sometimes if you're first in the market it's better for you sometimes if you're second in the market but with better features it's best for you it depends what's your strategy again yeah but if you think that the first in the market is doing what exactly what you wanted to do and you don't really think you can bring new features in the market right now then it probably is best that you move on to the next thing and that's not a bad thing it's a good thing to realize that you are beaten and move on to the next thing because if you spend time and energy and money to develop and and try to compete against someone who's first in the market and they already won over people and, and your application or software or project or whatever it is doesn't offer anything extra or anything different or anything better to the people in the market the few things that, you, that are going to happen first of all people are not going to switch from what they are already using. Second of all, if you don't feel like you're better than your competition, you're aware of the competition, do you know what happens psychologically? Psychologically, you're gonna be able to market your product. It happened to me, it happened to me with clients even. I don't get clients on board uh, for freelance marketing if I don't feel like their product is actually better than the competition or different because psychologically speaking, it's so difficult to market something that is not different and you know it if you know that you have something different better you can market it with passion you can create new messages you can create new content you can you can be all out but if you in your heart actually know that it's not different it's so difficult to convince people to use your product over the competition that you know is first before you in the market and you know they're just the same or even better so it's all the stuff that you have to go through if someone lodges before you. So number one, lodge as as soon as possible, as quickly as possible, as I talked on the on the episode 18. Number two, if you think that your competitors are doing the same job or better as they've launched first, maybe it's best to admit defeat and move on to the next thing. There's always a new idea in your head. I'm sure everybody has ideas. And the third thing keep in mind that can you market it if you don't feel confident about the differences because you may be like but i already built it and they launched two days before me or a month before me and uh, i'm sure i can launch as well but can you market it if you feel like your competition is doing the same thing or better what's your psychology at the time just reflect on it yeah that's what i wanted to talk about it's very interesting that people are talking to me about these topics i love it if you want to if you have any thoughts or any ideas or any fears or any experiences that you're going through now and you feel like you want someone to hear you or listen to you or just chat with me guys i'm, I'm open i'm open and just uh, reach out to me at tasca show on twitter or t dallis which is my personal handle which is t d a l i s uh, or just comment on any platform that you're listening the podcast through uh, from and uh, I'll uh, be I'll do my best to answer to you guys so just send me an email it's all right and uh, see you guys on the next one and as always have an awesome day with lots of love lots of passion and compassion and on top of that happy new year is the first day of the year I hope you are enjoying everything you do this year I hope every success to everybody and i hope you let me know what's happening and tomorrow i'm sure i'm gonna have a cool topic to talk about again because i love doing the podcast for you and for me guys so keep me updated with anything and i will talk to you tomorrow Bye bye